That's why they turn into a bunch of hoes. <laughs> I love that coming out Comedian of your mouth. Comedian Bill Maher mocks people who are offended by everything. Comedian Bill Maher and Miss Pat, whose real name is Patricia Williams, mocked people who are offended by everything. People go crying and they're ready to jump off a ledge at any little thing you say. It's the kids that we're raising today. They don't work for shit. We give them everything. That's why they turn into a bunch of hoes and be crying all the time. <laughs> <Page eight. laughs> Instead of being honest to kids, they want to pamper them and make the word easy for everybody. The world isn't, I cuss at my kids, and people say, how can you cuss at your kids? I said, because when they get into a real world and somebody says, F off, they won't fall off the ground. You know, uh, Mar is an absent, Mar, Mar is an uh, outspoken uh, opponent of cancel culture and uh, political correctness. In 2021, he said liberals should stop catering to the people who just want to bitch. Uh, Tom, thoughts? Uh, I, I think he's, this is refreshing. This is absolutely refreshing. Catering to people that just want to bitch. It's one thing to have a point. It's one thing to move the ball forward on something important for society. It's quite another thing where you protest for the sake of protest because what you're really trying to do is 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 move things in into power. And by the way, there's a direct line with this. goes right back to ESG of all these people bitching about stuff. And then it goes back and then their, their, their executional uh, lever of bitching is an ESG policy. I, I love this. And I think he's calling it, and Miss Pack is calling it. And I think there's a big thing in here about kids. Um, the BizDoc Babe is a teacher, and we have kids today that are treated differently and are too sensitive and are incapable of debate and she is dead on I, I don't necessarily cuss at my kids but I don't I don't cut them any slack uh, they they hear it from me when when things not right because no I don't want someone to challenge them or want to debate with them or anything like that in the real world and have them shrink back and be you know unequipped and unprepared yeah, Bill Maher, uh, I've said this before. I mean, that's my guy. Uh, if there's anybody that I think is just kind of nailing it these days, it's Bill Maher. I know that, uh, that obviously you're tight with Rogan, and that's sort of like who you think is on Goat Mountain. Bill Maher is on my Goat Mountain, and it's not because he calls out the right. It's also because he calls out the left. I mean, and who are we talking about right now? It's specifically, if we want to name names, the people that are doing the complaining are young people, Gen Z, who you know, are just kind of entering the real world for the first time and they're bitching and complaining and they haven't done anything yet. A lot, a lot of what you talk about are the doers don't have a voice and the complainers have a loud voice. These days, if you're 22 years old and you haven't done anything yet, you haven't built anything yet, you haven't even made any money, you haven't built a family, you haven't accomplished anything, it's so easy to bitch these days about everything that you're seeing in the world and all the plights that you're dealing with. The reality is, in America today, in America, this is the best, most amazing time we've ever had in our country as far as living longer healthier wealthier things are so good in america and you know just take a trip to other places in the world and then come back to america and see if you still have that same attitude but uh overall i think mar is just nailing everything these days and shout out to him and his writers because they're crushing no i mean because I, I actually know one of his writers that's on the on his real time with bill mar yeah. not alone like well but i've done stand up with him and I just, I mean, I respect him, uh, but it's just, the, do you think the shift is happening because he was so, he was just the Trump, you, that's all, to me, because I'm that's from what I saw in LA, it was just every day was Trump, and they're like trying to be clever with the Trump jokes. Do you think that this is a shift because he's trying to still keep, because nobody's relevant. When the whole those Trump hating CNN, we saw what's happening with CNN. Do you think he's making that shift and he's being so anti, you know, woke and all that just because he, so he doesn't lose followers or he's no, always he, been this he, guy? he said that you know i haven't changed my positions have always been this it's been the left the the progressive left that has sprinted far left like he a lot of times he'll say this on his show i don't know how often you watch his show he says a lot of times fox news will praise me right or mm -hmm. or hannity will praise me or Tucker will praise me in, in the hopes that I'll come on their team. He's like, I am not on your team, Yeah. okay? But I'm also not on whatever this woke ideologue situation is going on on that side. I mean, you saw the stats that he talked about with like that LGBT stat and how America's coming gayer and gayer yeah. and woker and woker. I think that at the end of the day, what we're talking about is just common sense. He's calling out the left. He's calling out the right. And we need more of that in this country, whether it's a Rogan, whether it's a Mar, it's whether it's what PBD and what we do here. Common sense will prevail.
I, I think that's I, but, the issue. And I think my only thing is, too, not to bring up, not to cut you off, Tom, and I do not want to talk about Trump, but the fact that when uh, Dave Rubin was on his podcast and they spoke, he still can't admit, people like him, that really pissed me off, you still can't admit that what happened with the elections and all that shit was fabricated and it was all made up. None of them could just be like, okay, I was wrong. Because even Dave Rubin was like, come on, bro. Like, it's all Hillary and she paid and he, they're still like, no, you don't know what you're talking about. That's only, that's one thing I don't respect is admit when you fuck up. Admit admit that you were duped. You didn't, you didn't start it. You didn't do it. Admit that everything that you said that you were peddling on your show and all these people, you, you lied. That's what we're talking about with CNN. I would respect CNN 1,000% more if just one day they just went, you guys, you know what? We, we messed up. Hillary did all this. She paid all this money. Yeah, we believe there, and we pushed it all on you guys. We'll move on. That's only that's the only reason I don't respect them. Uh, Do you watch uh, Bill Maher at all? Who are you talking to? You. I just watch his clips on Twitter. I, mm -hmm. I never watch his show. Like watch. I don't. What channel is it on HBO? HBO. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I don't, so I don't you're have not HBO. like a Bill Maher guy. I whatever he posts. Yeah. On on Twitter specifically Twitter. I uh, anything that all of a sudden pops up. Mm -hmm. First of all, I think he's a he's my style of a guy. Like if we were to go out and talk and. Mm -hmm. Just shoot the shit. He seems like somebody you can shoot the shit with and entertain, have banter, conversations. He's that kind of a guy. I like the, I like how he is. But I, I kind of agree with what he's talking about as well. Uh, all I know is this this year, 2024, 2023, is going to be a rough year for a lot of people. I'm just saying. It's not going to be a good year for Fauci. Fauci is going to go from being the sexiest man on <laughs> earth to a bachelor Scrooge. or somebody that no, I mean, he's going to be Scrooge at the highest level, like a Scrooge type of a guy. That's going to be. I mean, you should have seen his reaction when I said what I said about Fauci. It's as if I cursed out, you know. The, oh, to, to God. The yeah, I mean, the it's Rubenstein. as if oh, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a scene you have to watch from yesterday's clip. Hmm. But uh, Fauci's God to a lot of people. He's not going to be God next year. He's going to be more closer to a fallen angel than he's going to be a God in 2023. Him, Hunter Biden. Uh, SPF. It's not going to be pretty can, this year. Can I say something about Hunter Biden? Yeah. This is crazy. So I watch SNL a lot. Yeah. Shout out to our buddy uh, Marcelo Hernandez. You know, I they did a bit, uh, a cold open this weekend. The guy that does Trump, uh, I don't yeah. know who he is. He, he's, he's actually really good. It's funny. And then they had um, Donald Trump Jr. come on. At, uh, really? No, no, no. Not oh, for real. Like, like, Jesus okay. Christ. And he talked about, hey, partying. And I said, you know what? Just for shits and giggles, let me put into YouTube SNL Hunter Biden. Because clearly there's going to have to be something that they've made fun one of joke? Hunter Biden. Yeah, one joke. It's crack, prostitutes, this. That to me was shocking. Nothing. There was nothing about Hunter Biden on SNL. That is a layup for comedy. 100%. Like you talk about comedians, like layup jokes. Yeah. You, you tell me you can't do a bit about Hunter Biden smoking crack in his den in the getting, basement. Getting money. Yeah, like you can't do one bit on <laughs> SNL. That's what, that gonna... to me is a, is a red flag. So with all the craziness taking place, I believe future looks bright. If you believe future looks bright, get your latest future looks bright hat of Valuetainment. It says future looks bright here. Future looks bright here. We got them in white. We got them in black. We got them in red. Our black on black sold out. These are about to sell out. If you haven't ordered one yet, we had a person in Michigan bought one. Then he bought three. Then when those three people weren't in the office, they had to order 58 of them because people wanted the future looks bright hat, especially during times like this because ain't nobody saying future looks bright. To order your future looks bright hat, click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.